So may the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his age, we can take this holy name and these anathas can go. One of my godbrothers was massaging my Gurudev and another one of my godbrothers was reading the chapter of Bhagavad Gita to him, 13th chapter, Divine and Demoniac Nature. So the massage was going on, the reading was going on. The massage was being coming to an end and my godbrother who was reading the 13th chapter of Bhagavad Gita was ending the chapter and he exclaimed, Srila Prabhupada! Srila Prabhupada! Srila Prabhupada, I'm a demon! Yes. Chant Hare Krishna. So many times when we're chanting, many times when we're performing Prikram, our mind takes us on a Prikram somewhere else. So we should become very serious in this process. We have gone through so many different species of life, so many different previous births and deaths, higher planets, lower planets, now we have the opportunity to to some Sukriti and Gurus cause us mercy upon us. I know that's my only qualification. It, so we should take this very seriously. Here Gurudev's Harikata and perform our program very, very diligently trying to not commit any offenses to other devotees, to the Dham, and listen like uh, this is our last moment, because it may be. Thank you, Papa, for this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Oh my God, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do this. 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 Giving my respect to all the two novices and yasis, all the devotees, all the mothers. I will speak something. I'm just going to mouth it. What, what topic should I speak about? Should I speak about it? So, <coughs> we are uh, preaching the gospel of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gospel means good news. And the good news is that. Shama Sundar Krishna has become Gora Sundar. In Bhagavad Gita, at the end, Krishna is stating, You should surrender to me. Mamekam Sharanam Braja. In Brindavan. Braja. Then Krishna winded up all his operation, all his pastime, and went back to home. And there, as he stated in the fourth chapter of Chitana Charitamrita by Krishna Skila Kavirata Swami, he tells, I have given a prescription, an order, but I have not shown how to put it in practice. Shiva Govinda used to say that Mahaprabhu is a practical teacher. Krishna is a theoretical teacher, but Mahaprabhu is a very practical teacher. So Krishna came again as Mahaprabhu to show how we could develop that uh, love for him which pleases him both and which can conquer him. He said himself in that very fourth chapter of Chaitanya that the whole world is worshipping him according to the rules and regulation of Vedas. As Shri Gurudev was saying yesterday, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, everyone thought that the essence of Godhead, Godhood, was Eshwarya, Lord Narayan, is supreme. But Krishna is not pleased with that kind of devotion. He says this is 
Each time you bring us some good shit, this frame, this love, which is weakened by the knowledge of this Bhagavad Gita, this Godhood, doesn't please him. He said the whole world is worshiping me like that, but I'm not very pleased with that. I accept that devotion, but I'm not captured by it. But one of my sweethearts is chiding me, rebuking me, calling me, oh, douche, at home, oh, cheater, lampad. Oh, that steals away my mind from the words of the Vedas, Krishna said. Then he decided, I will come personally, and I will make the whole world dance. No. And I will face all the different rasas. And for that I have to do it personally, I have to show example. Apanya chali bhakti kolirya prancha. I have to show what is bhakti. So if we study the life of Srimad Mahaprabhu, we see that he went to Gaya and he received Diksha from Ishvara Puripada. When he came back, he started to practice what he has learned. And he became mad, he said, I don't know what type of mantra I received. My guru didn't give me a mantra, but I have become mad by this mantra. And when I told him, Gurudev, what type of mantra you gave me? This has made me completely bad. Gurudev said, oh, you have really you know, realized the purpose of the mantra. You have realized the mantra. This mantra is meant to make you mad after Krishna. After that, we see that not only he got a Diksha Guru, but he also went to South India, Godavari. And there he met Raghavananda, from whom he took Siksha. And after taking Siksha from him, he went to Gambira and he applied the teachings for 12 years continuously, doing practically nothing but hearing Srimad Bhagavatam and sweet Harikata in the company of intimate devotees. By that he is showing what are we supposed to do. We are supposed to do the same thing. We are supposed to release the chanting and to hear and practice in the company of advanced devotees. Now how Mahaprabhu did uh, succeed in his attempt we know that he came for different reasons. Krishna Charitamrita explains some external reasons, some internal reasons. That verse was quoted just previously. Primaras niryas korite ashvadam, ragamalke bhakti korite prasharam. He came for two reasons, one for himself, one for us. Because he is Parma Karun, he is Rashik Shekhar, he is always relishing. Raso Vesa, he is sweetness personified, he is always relishing his own sweetness. But also his parana kanun, his mercy is boundless. Yesterday we heard from the Lord's mouth of Gurudev, Nidam Kush, uncontrollable. That mercy of Mahaprabhu is completely uncontrollable. So in that mood of uncontrollable mercy, he wants to share his own enjoyment. Krishna is not selfish. He enjoys, but he takes great pleasure. He relishes distributing his own ecstatic joy to others. And to do that, he comes as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Everyone is praising Krishna, Vande Krishna Jagat Guru. Krishna is the spiritual master of the whole world. But how is Krishna the spiritual master of the whole world? When he is in the mood of Radhika, he is showing how he is Guru. He is coming as Mahaprabhu. We hear that he is Krishna himself, but Radha Juti Subhavitam. He has accepted the complexion and the mood of Shrimati Radhika. In him, Radha is predominant in the words of Shri Radha in the Maharaj. He is Krishna but completely covered. Radha is predominating. We have a great need for mercy. We are Kali Yuga, fallen souls. If Radha gives her mercy directly, that is not sufficient. Krishna is mercy directly, that is not sufficient. They have to combine both as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, increasing magnanimity, Audariya, and then we can receive their mercy. So Mahaprabhu is coming with that gift. You could say that Krishna is like a big rascal full of ras. No, raso vesa. Full of ras. He's testing that ras, but he also wants to give it. So as Mahaprabhu is coming, relishing, chewing the ras, and the ras is like dropping from his mouth and he's bringing that ras to all of us. That is his distribution of mercy. So in other words, Krishna is testing himself and enjoying himself even more by distributing himself. Shri Shri Maharaj explains that Krishna is, uh, as Mahaprabhu, he has opened the marketplace where he is distributing himself. Radha and Krishna have allowed themselves to be plundered by the public, the word of Shri Shri Maharaj, by that distribution of themselves as Mahaprabhu. 
In that mode of Saint Kirtan, he is distributing himself. He's testing, distributing. The Kirtan is his distribution of himself. So we, as fallen souls, we have to receive that mercy. Should I go with the Majesty to say, that mercy actually is given freely. But what happened? We have opened an umbrella above our head. He's showering, they're showering mercy, causelessly, without consideration of who is qualified, who is not qualified. They're showering mercy. But we have opened an umbrella of material attachment on our tongues. Therefore we complain, oh, I'm not getting any mercy. But Baba, you have opened an umbrella above your head. You have to take away that umbrella by surrendering. It is said that Mahaprabhu is distributing freely the name. Praying. He's distributing the name, and in the name, he's giving freely praying. Why do we say freely? Because in the previous yogas, now it is said Mahaprabhu appears one every day of Brahma, once every day of Brahma, which means one thousand Kali yogas are passing. Now in every Kali yoga, the Nam Sankirtan, the Yuga Dharma is the same, is a chanting. But in other yugas, in the name, there's only what should I show my course, ordinary praying. Or by winter praying, giving liberation. But not the praying of the bridge basi that Krishna wants to give. And Krishna was thinking, I have not given it for so long. Shira Adatam, Nidya Gupta Vitam, Shira Adatam, for so long, one day of Brahma, I have not distributed that praying. Now I want to give that, because that praying makes me basi good, makes me control. Krishna wants that. Prabhupada once was saying, everyone is worshipping Krishna, but Krishna sometimes he wants to be shown the stick no. by Mother Yashoda. When she shows him the stick, we say, oh, finally someone is treating me, looking at Bandhuva, in an ordinary village-like relationship, not worshipping me. I don't really appreciate that worship that much. I want to be controlled by that love. So, as Mahaprabhu, Krishna is distributing this opportunity. Also, it is said that Krishna never remains indebted. No. Krishna never remains indebted. I heard the story, I don't know if that is completely bona fide, I said Guru will correct me. That when Shishupal was abusing Krishna in Raja Surya, sacrifice of Yudhishthir Yudhish Maharaj, finally, after the hundreds offense, abuse, Krishna took his Sudarshan Chakra and shot his head. But I heard that when he shot his head, some bleeding was there. And Draupadi in the assembly took off her sari and took a little piece of the sari to bandage Krishna's finger. I heard that. That is the reason why when she was being dishonored by Dushashan, Krishna, who never remains indebted, he gave back unlimited, unlimited, unlimited amount of sari of cloth. No. You correct me that is wrong. I have heard like that. <laughs> now Krishna, the point I want to make that Krishna never remains indebted. And in uh, dealing with his most beloved, the gopis of Braj, the damsel of Braj, he says that Naparayeham, I am not able to pay back your love. I cannot pay back. Even if I was to live like long life like a demigod, like Lord Brahma, I could never repay you. You have to be satisfied. But still Krishna doesn't like to remain a debtor. So he comes as Mahaprabhu, and what does he do? He canvasses on behalf of Radhika's king. He's trying to turn us all, all of us into male servants of Radhika. By doing that, he's trying to pay back his debt to Radhika. Because Krishna didn't like to remain in debtor. So he came and he flooded the whole world with that prayer. And he only gave one condition. When we say give freely by teaching Shalom Nagati. Through Shalom Nagati, through full surrender, we can have access to pure name. Without that Shalom Nagati, it is uh, imagination. There is no possibility. Shalom Nagati is like the uniform you have to wear to enter into the house of Bhakti. We are told by Shri Guru Deva, Shalamagati is not bhakti per se, in itself. It is a threshold, the doorstep to bhakti. So you have to surrender, then you can enter into the house of bhakti. And according to the surrender, the degree of surrender, then you get reciprocation. Shri Adobina used to devastate our minds and hopes by saying, your so-called surrender is either partial, conditional, or artificial. Are Baba? 
We used to come from France with all the family, the children in diapers, stay for months with the heat, the Indians, the mosquitoes, everything. And he said, oh, you are so-called surrendering, but actually it's partial, artificial, or conditional. You are all sitting there, but you're not really hearing. All a bunch of pretenders, all keeping or not as much of desires inside the heart. Therefore, it's not coming to your heart. Going from one here to the other. Not going down in the heart and purifying. But Mahaprabhu, he has someone for people like us. People who are of a dubious nature. People who are fallen, like the fallen of Kali Yuga. He has this formidable agent, Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Now Mahaprabhu told him, you should go from Puri back to Bengal and should preach about Krishna. But Nityananda was thinking, if I preach about Krishna, people may get the wrong idea. In Krishna Lila, there is apparently erotic eroticism. And people may get their project their own wrong ideas on the divine couple and commit offense. Therefore, instead, instead of preaching about Krishna, he decided I will preach about Gora, Goranga. He didn't preach Krishna consciousness, he preached Goranga consciousness. Because through Goranga consciousness, we can get Radha Krishna. It is said, Yata Yata Gora Padara Binde, that verse. If one is uh, surrendering and getting the brain of Goranga, immediately in his heart also there is a manifestation of attachment to the other speed of Shimati Radhika. Or Gora Prima Rasarnave Se Tarangge Jebadjuvi Se Aramara Antaranga. If one is going through Goranga, he will get Radha Madhav. He will become Antaranga, means intimate associate of Radha Madhav. So the visa history officer in the world of Bhaktivedanta Chakshara Shudara Maharaj is Nityananda. You have to secure your visa from Nityananda to go to Vrindavan. If you want to go right away to Vrindavan, to Krishna, you will not be admitted. But if you have a good recommendation from Navadvi, oh, come, come, come. So Mahaprabhu is distributing this train through Nityananda Prabhu. And also, mainly, he is distributing it through Rupa Goswami Pad. How is he distributing this mercy? Rupa Goswami Pad, Gurudev was saying that yesterday, I think, during the Ratha Yatra, Mahaprabhu was chanting one verse from Kavya Prakash. And only he could understand. But when Rupa Goswami heard him, immediately he composed another verse explaining in clear what Mahaprabhu meant. And when he went to the house of Arita Sako, just before going bathing, he wrote with his pearl-like writing that very beautiful show and he stuck it into the roof. When Mahaprabhu came back, he looked, came, he looked and said, Who has written this? And when Rupa came, he took him on his lap and he might be slapping and said, Oh, did you understand my heart? And then the Vaishnava of the round said, Oh, you have given him all your mercy. At that time, Mahaprabhu asked all the Vaishnava, You please, all of you, give him your mercy. You have already received Mahaprabhu's mercy plus all the Vaishnava's mercy. And through that, this mercy is coming to us. Rupa Goswami Pad has written so many books of instruction, beginning with Upadeshamrita. And all these books of Paribasa, definition of everything about Bhakti. But the first part is called Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the second part is Ujjwala Nilamani, dealing with higher topics. It is the same book in two parts. So those books is instilling into us the mellows and the moves of pure devotional service. Unmotivated self-raised devotional service. Because that's the only thing which can please and bind Krishna. So through his confidential associates, Mahaprabhu has delivered the whole world. Not only that, he is giving access to the topmost. In Jeva Dharma, there is a discussion between Babaji Maharaj and his disciple. And the Babaji, the disciple is complaining that why did Krishna make this world so miserable? So Babaji Maharaj is answering, if you are under someone, if you subordinate to someone, automatically that implies some inconvenience. No matter how, no matter what arrangement Krishna would have made, you are his subordinated with some inconvenience. But look, although you come from the Tatasya Shakti, also you are not coming from the highest realm, you are from the middle place. You are, Shri Rashtra explains, 
you made the stuff lower than even the dust of Goloka. It is Chaitanya, but you made the lower stuff. Although you have that disqualification, so to speak, still, from the place you have fallen in, you can achieve the same very destination that those who were ever in the spiritual world. In other words, you're a badaji, you've been wandering in this world, roaming in the street of this world, shopping on the marketplace you know, of this world, which is like a big marketplace where everything is for sale, and you've been purchasing goods which have entangled you verse after verse, verse after verse, but still, from the very fallen position, you can achieve the very same position in the spiritual world and the Siddhas. What more do you want? How much mercy do you want? You're coming from the lowest, but you can be given the highest. And that highest is available to you anytime you want it. You just have to let go of your attachments. Babaji was saying that you think that this is a miserable place. Actually, misery, happiness, or distress is only a mental concoction. That actually, that what you call distress, will push you to inquire. That uh, desire for inquiry will bring you to Sadhu Sangha. From Sadhu Sangha, you will get the beach back to the beach, and then from that you'll be able to go to the spiritual world. Why do you call it unhappiness? Why do you call it distress? Actually, it is very auspicious for you. So, we have all these misconceptions, they can all be washed in the ocean of praying, the dhara, the current of prayer that Mahaprabhu has brought from the spiritual world, sharing with all of us. And, if we have to be given, given entrance into the spiritual world, in that particular realm that we want to aim, that we aim at, in the entourage, the personal entourage of Radha and Krishna. We have to approach someone who can take us there. It is said that that brain of Radha and Krishna, it is in the hands of the Saki. They are the owners, they are the only ones who are entitled to relish it and to give it. Therefore, if we want to enter into that particular domain of Madhuryaras, which is basically what Mahaprabhu is coming to give, Unato Ujvaras, then we have to have it from someone who is from that domain, from that realm. In other words, the spiritual master is in the, uh, the function of a Saki in the spiritual world. In the words of Bhagavad Maharaj, the spiritual master, the bonified spiritual master, is a dear girl companion of Radha and Krishna. So from that we have to get. And Mahaprabhu, not only as Sam Guru Bhagavad 500 years ago, which we said it is very far back, but all through the Parampara, he is keeping on sending his most intimate associates in the form of our reverse spiritual masters. So, I will stop here and claim that we can all have that uh, faith that the spiritual master who is enlightening us here every day, so kindly showing his mercy on us, is from that realm and he can take us to that realm. I'm not sure that uh, 
I'll be the most edifying speaker this evening, but you'll be glad to know I'll be the shortest. <laughs> Rudy has ordered me to speak, although, as many of you know, I'm clearly unqualified to speak. And the topic of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has already been described as being outside of the reach of a normal conditioned soul like myself. But from our personal experience, we can see that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is indeed the most magnanimous uh, avatar. He's come to give what no other incarnation of the Lord has ever given, which is pure love of Krishna, Raja praying. In his life and teachings, he wrote Shikshastik, which are the eight, as you all know, the eight principal verses that form the canon of all of the other scriptural uh, wonders that were written by Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, and Jiva Goswami, and as, have, as we've been talking about tonight, Baladev Vijayabhushan, and so on, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. In that first verse of Shikshasik, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu glorifies the holy name as being the greatest benediction that can befall uh, the living entity, Param Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtan. And he goes on to extol the virtues of the holy name by saying that by taking the holy name under the, under the guidance of a pure devotee like our beloved Srila Gurudev, that we can begin the process of cleaning the mind, Chaito Dharpana Marjanam, Baba Mahada Bhagmi Nirvarpanam. And by cleaning the dust from the mirror of the mind, <clears throat> we can begin to perceive our some glint, some hope of uh, realizing our spiritual identity, our latent as yet unrealized spiritual identity. There's so much that could be said about that, but the point that I'm driving at is that uh, in the third verse, after the second verse where he uh, describes how merciful the Lord is in giving His holy name, how the holy name is empowered with all of the shaktis of all of the uh, incarnations of the Lord uh, and how the living entity has been blessed by an opportunity to chant without any rules or regulations so it's been made very very easy for us to take it the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu describes our lamentable position by saying that uh, despite such a wonderful gift and despite something which is so easily available that we still uh, at least speaking for myself, have no taste in chanting. And in the third verse, he goes on to talk about the qualification for developing some taste for chanting, which is that one must be humble. And especially in the Kartik month, when we're all associating with each other, uh, Srila Gurudev was saying last night, he has many... Uh, exalted Vaishnavas who are his helpers and to conditioned eyes like ours they are somewhat covered we don't necessarily see their their great qualifications so the point that I'm making and I'll end here is that if we hope to realize this special gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu if we hope to realize the benediction of chanting <laughs> We should maintain a humble heart in relationship with each other. Uh, the lowest of us, um, the most inconsequential person, whether they're, you know, a plumber or a trash collector, or uh, maybe their body is deformed, or uh, maybe they don't know how to speak, or they rub us up the wrong way. And, I mean, you know, we're all living with each other, so we know what happens on a daily basis. But somehow we have to maintain in our minds that all of the Vaishnavas, all of those devotees who are following Srila Gurudeva are very special souls. 
And if we can serve them with some humility, uh, we'll have a chance to hopefully, with your day's blessing, taste something of the holy name. Thank you very much.
Shamasundra Prabhu from Alakshwa, Kishori Mohan Prabhu, every year he is helping, if you can help again this year. Then we have Pajanya Prabhu and Danu, Darunu Dal, Daruni Dal, Prabhu for the Russian bus. There will be two Russian buses, as many devotees have come from Russia. Pajanya Prabhu, if you can find two more devotees to help monitor the other bus, that will be fantastic. Then we have a few short announcements. The devotees who have not registered yet, the registration table is in the back. You can still do so and we can serve you properly tomorrow morning with the buses. There is an Ayurvedic doctor coming tonight and he may come a few evenings, perhaps every evening, it depends. For those devotees who would like to get some natural medicines for whatever little problems there are. He will be seated inside on the courtyard. Yeah. Are you a doctor, a very qualified doctor who has come to render his service like that? Somebody who has lost her beat back, it is with me. You can see me after Arctic. Those who have lost keys and also yesterday I announced golden watches, they are also with me. If you can pick this up, that will be very good. Then, names? Hare Krishna. Jesamasto Bharatiya Bhaktogan registration koreation. Asakarita Sakole, Sipatamam Krishna Prabhu, Otto Harida Sutra Tikit Prapta Koreation. Jodikya Tikit Priya Nathakan, Unara Abar Gosan, Akiki Aruti Pore. Ticket Sangha Kore Niven, Bina Ticket Sara, Basilta Sibida Ache, Joro, Haja Bakta of the Resistance Karaya Hai, Nuko Ticket Abit of Sangha Nikia, Unlo Kilodro Karnao, Sipia Haruti Kuparan, Sipa Haridas Kuru, Gonsipa Tamal Kusaku Ticket Rapta Karle, Bina Ticket Se, Basme, Charna of Sibida Hogi, May Basme Charnike Sibida Kelie. मैं गोड़ी के गोड़ी और दिल्ली से जो भक्त लोग आए हुए हैं उन लोग को अनुरोध करता हूं बस में चढ़ते समय टिकट देख कर के उनको इंटरवेंस दें और पीजी से आए हुए हैं सुंदर रूपाल प्रभु एवं अचिंत गौर प्रभु उन लोग से अनुरोध कर रहा हूं इंडियन बस में टिकट चेक कर के उन लोगों को अंदर जाने दें गोड़ी के भक्त लोग इधर है दिल्ली गोड़ी से जो भक्त लोग आए हुए हैं आप पूरा टीम लेकर के इंडियन बस को देखभाल करेंगे बिना टिकट से टिकट चढ़ने मारते फिर मैं भी रहूंगा देख लूंगा और आज करीब उनहत्तर लोगों को गुरु जी ने हरिणाम दीक्षा दिया है आज समय अधिक हो गया है इसलिए नाम परसों अनाउंस किया जाएगा आज अगर हरिणाम दीक्षा हो नाम परसों दिन क्लास से अनाउंस करा है एवं चौदह तारीख हवन हवे से पार्थिव महाराज हवन कर में रुचनाथ मठे 14 तारीख बेला आराईटा समय हवन हवे जरा समस्त परिणाम दीक्षा ग्रहण करेछन दुजन भक्त समय अभाग तरा मुंडन करते पारेन नाही तरा जन मुंडन करिए ने टू डिवोटी सर नॉट सेफ दैट हियर येट सो बिफोर हाई सैक्रिफाइस दे हैव टू डू दैट हरे कृष्णा एंड हु हैज टेकन इनिशिएशन दे आर नेमिंग वी अनाउंस दे आर टू मोरो टू डेज टू लेट but uh, tomorrow our program is little bit changed tomorrow first we will go to Bhandirvan then Mansarabar then Talwan then Madhuvan and breakfast prasad will be served at Mansarabar and lunch prasad will be served at Madhuvan so who has arranged taxi their private car or own car they should not go Madhuvan Talwan first first we will go to visit Bhandirvan কালকে আমাদের আগে প্রথমে মধুবন তালবন যার কথা ছিল প্রসাদ পাওয়ার সুবিধা অসুবিধার জন্য এই প্রোগ্রাম চেঞ্জ করে আগে ভান্ডিরবন যাওয়া হবে তারপর মানসরোবর তারপর তালবন তারপর মধুবন হরে কৃষ্ণ টুমোরো আওয়ার প্রোগ্রাম ইজ লিটল বিট চেঞ্জ এক্সচেঞ্জ অফ মধুবন উইল ভিজিট ভান্ডিরবন ফার্স্ট সো হু হ্যাভ देयर প্রাইভেট কার অর ওন কার অর রেন্টেড কার 
देश सुमनट गोतु मधुबन तालवन फास फास गोतु भंडीर बन हरे कृष्णा Amen. Um,